I've seen in my years of consulting, I've seen lots of transformation programs that are successful and many that were not so successful. And I yeah. think the one of the things that differentiates them is really the commitment from not only the top of the house, but from the teams. They have to feel, like you said, empowered and they have to see those results. I mean, does, yeah. I, it sounds like that resonates with what's happening here. Yeah, the, the, um, you're right, because it is both ways, right? Like this is about the teams on the ground, smaller teams on the ground. How do we make it easier for them to get work done? They're closer to the work. They, they know what the work needs to happen. But you come in from an organization where, you know, traditionally, what are we? Command and control right. and directive. And so you've got a leadership team and then you've got, you know, a team on the ground and, and the two have to meet and they have to meet in a really great yeah. way. Um, so, you know, the fascinating thing about this is you can do all the people process technology changes you want. You can simplify all kinds of controls and processes, but it's the culture and mindsets and behavior yeah. that underpin it. If you can't make a move in that, it's going to be really, really hard to actually get the outcomes because really what you'll just have is command and control in new ceremonies. You guys, you guys know Agile. You, you guys are technologists. Yeah. We're going to the PI planning and somebody's just going to tell you, go do this, that and the other. So the culture, the mindset and that leadership style has to go with it. Yeah, we spent a lot of time empowering our members over the last few years. And it's, I think, very similar to what you were saying. It's not just about what we say is about what we do. It's about the culture and the behavior that we encourage. And it's a change in, in the way that we engage with our members, I think. Because yeah. before, like you said, command and control, here's what we need you to do today. And now it's, here's the objective we're trying to reach. How can you help us? Exactly. Yeah, tuning from outputs to outcomes is key in, yeah. in this. And the other really key one is progress over perfection. Yeah. We all know, what do we do when we get into projects? We think we're gonna exactly tell you right down to the last you know period in the sentence, what exactly I need from a requirements point of view. Then I'm gonna design it and then I'm gonna deliver it and it's gonna be what you want. We know that's not how it works, we've all delivered. <laughs> um, and so that progress over perfection um, is really, really critical. And my other favorite one is psychological safety, yeah. right? Well, you have a leadership team that you have to challenge when they start coming out and being really directive. And you have to say, um, excuse me, but that's that's my pod's role to do that, not your role to do that right. anymore. And so we're doing a lot of work on, on culture, mindsets, and behaviors, especially with the senior leadership teams, because they, they have the biggest learning curve, quite frankly. Mm -hmm.